G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of a Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play Sweater Weather by The Neighbourhood. So for the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in stand-in tuning and you'll need a capo on the third fret of your guitar. There's five chord shapes that you'll need to know to play this song. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. So the five chord shapes are C, a minor, E minor, G, and finally D. This is such a great song, it's fairly simple, so it's going to be great for the beginners out there because there's just some basic chords and some easy strumming patterns. Alright, so let's start with the verse, and the verse is made up of five chords. We have C, then A minor, E minor, and then A minor, and G. Now the strumming pattern for the first three chords is going to go like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And in succession, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then for the last two chords, the A minor and the G, we have a very short strumming pattern, which just goes down, down, up. So in total, the five chords should sound like this. Down, down, up. One more time. Now we get to the pre-chorus and we just have four chords here. We have C, A minor, E minor, and finally G. We just have one strumming pattern for this pre-chorus and it's going to be similar to the first one in the verse and it goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And you play that once for each chord. So in total, the pre-chorus will sound like this. Now we get to the chorus. And the chorus is the same four chord shapes in the pre-chorus except there's no strumming pattern here. We're just going to strum each chord once. So the chorus will simply just sound like this. Now the second chorus is going to be played for twice as long as the first chorus. And at the end of the second chorus, we play a D chord, and we hold that for a tiny bit. There's no strumming pattern on that D chord. After that point, there's a slight tempo change in the song, and actually the feel of the song changes as well. It turns into a swing feel. Now with the swing feel, the dynamic changes a little bit. With the normal 4-4 beat, you go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And all the beats are equally spaced apart. With a swing feel, however, the downbeat is longer than the upbeat. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and... Notice how the end is really quick. And that also corresponds to an up strum. So if you're going to do a strumming pattern with a swing feel, it would sound like this. One and two and three and four. So now we're in the bridge and we have three chords. We have A minor, G and we have D. The strumming pattern that we're going to play will sound like this. Down, down, up, down, up. And in succession, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. You're going to play that once for the A minor and once for the G, and you'll play that twice for the D chord. So the bridge will sound like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. And then we get into our final chorus and we maintain the swing feel. The last chorus is going to be the same four chords as the other choruses, so C, A minor, E minor and G. But our strumming pattern will be different and it'll sound like this. 
down, 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 up, down, up. And it's succession. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Notice how it's got that swing feel. The up strums are a lot quicker than the downs. So down, 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 up, down, up. You play that strumming pattern once for each chord and the last chorus will sound like this. So now I'm going to play the full song in its entirety. I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like. Practice, play along and see how you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this throwback Thursday Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you have any throwback Thursday requests, then just leave them below. 
Again, if you've enjoyed this and you want to see more in the future, it helps me so much if you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave your thoughts, comments, and questions below, and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers. Just fine before I met you Drink too much and that's an issue Okay Tell your friends it was nice to meet them But I hope I never see them again